Hi, I'm Matt Kurt with Case IH. In this video, we're gonna give you a quick startup procedure for seating products with the AFS Pro 1200 display. As you can see, we've got a four tank air cart hooked up today. So first of all, we need to get our air cart set up and ready to go in the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all my drives or all my meters that I'm going to be using today. Uh, I'm going to be using tanks one through three. I won't be utilizing uh, tank four. And then, of course, I need to make sure that I've got my fan speed uh, set to where I like it. I'll be utilizing the AFS Pro 1200 for uh, rate control and section control. So I need to make sure that I have my section control set on auto and of course that our master button is on. So now I've got my air cart fired up and ready to go and all the meters are enabled. I need to make sure that I have my precision farming set up correctly in the AFS Pro 1200. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to my operations screen and I'm gonna make sure that I have everything configured properly here. So I've got the correct grower farm field selected. I'm gonna be seeding in the West 80 field today. I'm gonna be seeding spring wheat, so my crop type is spring wheat. I'm gonna scroll down to my product assignment. So I need to assign products to my tanks and meters on my air cart. So we'll just start off with meter one. On meter one, I will be applying wheat As you can see, we've got that product assigned. Our rate one and rate two comes up predefined. This is a product that I've created ahead of time. And then meter two, I'm going to assign my, one of my fertilizer products to. That's gonna contain my phosphorus. Again, my rates are pre-populated. If I had a prescription, a fertilizer prescription uh, associated with this product, I'd be able to select that here. I'm not using a prescription today though, so we'll move on to tank three. So I'm gonna go up, select meter three, and assign my last fertilizer product. And that completes the product assignment for the AFS Pro 1200. Next, I'm just gonna make sure that I have my Pro 1200 work condition set up properly and that my section control will work properly. So I'm gonna go into work condition. And I can configure some different things for my meters here, but most importantly, I wanna to move to overlap settings. And make sure that I configure my overlap and boundary control settings for all my different meters on my cart. So I want to utilize boundary control and overlap control for all meters. So we can come in here, configure that for every one of our meters and control channels here. So once I've completed that setup, I've got my precision farming setup complete for the Pro 1200. I have my air cart setup complete as well. Now I'm ready to go to work in the field. While I'm seating, I can utilize different run screens on the Pro 1200 to control my rates and my different meters and drives. So as you can see here, I have meter rate control for all of my meters here placed on run four. It's important to remember that if I utilize the AFS Pro 1200 for rate and section control, that I have to command my rate using the AFS Pro 1200 run screen and the ISO user defined windows. This has been a quick startup procedure for Case IH air carts utilizing the AFS Pro 1200 display. For more information, consult your local dealer or your operator's manual.